Good morning and welcome. To- I am up early this morning. Usually we leave for church around 8 in the morning. And right now it is 7.15 because I got up a little early so that I can get some practice time in before I have to pack for church this morning. We used to leave at 9 o'clock. Now we leave at 8.30 because we needed some extra time. It was either stay up until 3 a.m. or get up an hour early. Run my in-ear monitors real quick. So I have my entire setup set up at home. If you're interested in my setup or how I prepare for church on Sundays, in one of my earlier vlogs, I actually went through the entire process of setting up to get home and practicing all my songs and setting up all my songs. So if you're interested in that vlog, that vlog is available now. My fears released Now I am free Because of you If this is what it feels like To know you, to know you If this is what it feels like Okay, we are on our way to church Just got in the car, waiting on Michael to jump in Um, As you can see, I am not in the driver's seat Which you can't see anything, it's so bright Let's turn the all the way down to negative three. Oh, now you can't see me. Can we get some more light? <laughs> that was a joke. Usually I'd laugh, but you can't really see that I'm laughing because I'm squinting too much. There we go. I mean, that's 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 not that's not good, but whatever. Oh, now, now I'm completely dark. Okay. Wow, that's just incredible. So anyways, there's no way I'm gonna make this work. Just got in the car and you probably can't even tell I'm in a car, but um, I'm going to spend a couple minutes and write, you can't even see my computer, can you? Write some lighting code, a MIDI notes in Ableton on a MIDI track. Ableton talks to D-Pro, which is on the front of house computer, and then uh, it sends MIDI notes and then D-Pro does its thing with the lighting, but it has to know what to do. So on my iPad that I've got in front of me, I've got an Excel file with a whole bunch of MIDI notes written out in it. Um, I've got Ableton Live open here and I found the song I'm gonna be writing the notes for, and that is Count Me In. This is the song we're gonna write the uh, DMX uh, notes for. As you can see up here, I've got a DMX full and a DMX simple. I'm trying to create a couple different uh, setups for lighting and then a couple of different options. I can just turn off the one I wanna use and turn on the other one. Selected this uh, area, right click and hit insert MIDI clip and then I make a new MIDI clip. So now on my iPad, I've got a Excel file that's called uh, Simple DMX. Okay, so in the Simple DMX is the five column lighting design. So there's one, two, three, four, five, naturally. And I've got, on the left side, I've got the red, green, blue, white, yellow, light blue, and purple, and then, and then one through five lights. So, and I've got all the colors on the left side and all the lights on the, in the five columns. And they're all the same. So like D minus one is the first light. D zero is the second light. D one is the third light. D two and then D three. I'm gonna go, th- I'm gonna decide on a color palette. I think when Passion recorded it, they used a lot of blue. So we'll just stick with that color. So I'm gonna scroll down here and find D3, D2, D1, D0, D negative one. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit fold again and it's gonna just bring up the five that I've got here. So now I'm gonna take these five lights and I'm gonna use blue and I'm just gonna start out with the blue. I'm just gonna keep this blue until probably until we get to the first verse. Okay, so now I'm gonna look for yellow. That's the E1, E0 through E1. Okay, well we just pulled up. 
Hey everybody, Nathan here from Crazy Amazing Designs. If I haven't said that already in this video, this is my Sunday vlog. The v video, the vlog, the time of week where I show you what I do on Sunday, my worship setup, and just my tech stuff that I do on Sunday morning. We are here at the Warwick Christian Church. I grew up in this church. I have gone to this church my entire life. It's a great church, very small church, but it's been really cool what God's been able to do, uh, growing me and teaching me through opportunities in this church. In previous videos, you can find find live video for a, ba a baptism we did last Sunday. Good morning. I always say good morning to them too. I gotta cover up my haircut, Nathan gave me. We find. <laughs> did you hear Eric? He's like, yeah, I have to cover up my haircut, Nathan gave me. So we finally got our hair cuts last, cut last night, two o'clock in the morning. We were like, we gotta get it done. So what do you think? Ah, I think it looks pretty good. Eric cut mine and I cut Eric's. Yeah. You see this spot on his head? Look at that spot, you see that spot on his head? So our pap was a, was a professional barber for years and years and he cut our hair for years and years when we were little. And I told Eric last night that he missed years ago and it just never grew back. It's not true, I promise, but you know, it's still pretty funny. <laughs> These two are laughing hysterically. Okay, goodbye. I gotta go get work done. Cut. Oh, wait a minute, we can't skip church like that. We have to go back. Go back, go back, go back. By the way, we're having a lunch after church. See everybody, hi. Okay, back in the past, you have to see what happened to get here. Well, good morning, everybody. This first song we're gonna sing is called Count Me In. Jesus tells us time and time again to follow him, and when we follow him, we will be despised and persecuted by the world, right? How many of us are willing to stick it in for Jesus and actually go through when the going gets tough? This song is called Count Me In, and I absolutely have loved this song ever since the second I heard it. Um, the chorus of this is, now I can breathe, my fears release, now I am free because of you. If this is what it feels like to know you, to know you, if this is what it feels like. This is what it feels like to know you, to know you. This is what it feels like. It's so cool when we're in church here and we're in this environment where everyone's so loving. And then we get into the world and it's like it's a little bit harder to, to sing that. This is what it feels like to know you, to know you. When, when just everything's falling apart in our lives, it's so hard to say. This is what it feels like to know you. Now I can breathe. My fears released. Now I am free because of you. If this is what it feels like to know you, to know you, if this is what it feels like, your cross made a way for me. All the mystery. Heaven knows my name, my story will always be that you rescued me and I'd never be the same. Your cross made a way for me, oh the mystery. Heaven knows my name, my story will always be that you rescued me and I'd never be the same. How about you this morning? Amazing love, how can it be that you, my King, would die for me?
God is all I want. You say that it's impossible. Your heart, oh God, is all I want. Father, we thank you for these moments we've had together in your presence. And just now, Lord, as we prepare to dismiss this this service and go downstairs and enjoy that fellowship and that food which has been prepared. We ask, Lord, that you might keep in our hearts the reminder from your word, Lord, that you are our king and that we should desire you above all others. Well, that's a wrap on the service. It was a great morning here at church. The, uh, we, we took all the boxes that we uh, packed last week during the packing party and we put them on the stage around the columns here. Also, how's that look? Isn't that awesome? Okay, get everything shut off here. We showed a video from last week, sort of my vlog, sort of a uh, Operation Christmas Child video promoting that because that starts this Monday. Tomorrow we start week collection, so super excited for that. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to go around to the drop-off location with Becky and uh, visit with everybody encourage everybody so we'll see how that goes the days I do that I'm sure I'll be able to talk I'll talk about it in next week's vlog so and now we have lunch after church hi everybody Connor what do we got good to eat for lunch oh well, that's a wrap on the service and on lunch have a great day everybody What's that? Bye. we have a fan hi Jason He's a new character. This is my brother Jason. You guys might not even know him. I don't exist. <laughs> he doesn't exist. There's four of us total. This is Michael. That's Jason. And then you know Eric, who does a lot of stuff. That would be a wrap on the, on the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this beneficial. If you have any questions or comments about anything we talked about, leave them in the uh, comment section below.